I am always happy to see you come around. Your continued help with my uh, other business is much appreciated. Hey, you buy from me, maybe I can give you the same discount I give to locals. Take a look. See you later, friendo. Managed to jump out moments before their defeat. This is yet another black eye, and this does never an struggle. We got lots of stuff. Take your time and ask me if you need anything. I'm here to help. Sounds like a plan. I can also take stuff off your hands, too, if that's something you're interested in. See you around. Hmm. Most visitors can't wait to get off this one.
from here. Besides, a bad place for tourists these days. Side striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? This is such bullshit. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the Disciples. Now look at us. I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the disciples? Psh, total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, want to join the Ebside Strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. This ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Strikers look out for one another, right? Who's this? Someone says they might want to join. A recruit? Been a while. I know, right? Savage says we can't go killing people around here anymore. We shouldn't be doing that anyhow. You want to join us? We're a gang. You understand that, right? Not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? 
There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line. But I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Very useful. I like it. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. That's no joke. If you really are one of Ryujin's cleaners. Wow. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Well, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. You pulled this off, and I'll be your number one friend. Uh, how many...
have some sleep crepe units available. Please, baby. Everyone knows this is Neons. Take it easy. There's no shame if you just walk away and go back to your pretty little life. Huh. So you did the job, and nobody had to die. That was one hell of an audition. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a hatchet for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Once I'm let loose, things are gonna change. Neon's a living thing, and it feasts on our pain. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. Andrea does what she has to. Respect that. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. You are funny. Funny won't keep you alive. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs, signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there, that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood, but I say make the disciples bleed at every chance. Here are three locations. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. A lot of the signs are high up. Be careful up there. Very dangerous. Of course. Be careful. Be smart out there. What can I get you today?
You hear about that missing ship? They think it was pirates. Well, you know what they say. I think you're gonna fit in well, really well. The You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. Like the attitude, but don't give Neon Security any reasons to go after us, okay? You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mail-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the Strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. All the Strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for the Strikers to make a comeback. Can I get you something? The Strikers are upstairs.
one joke. Save those for a Dual's goods has a full line of equipment. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Oh, dear Lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. Really? That's a lot of credits. Hmm. All right, already. All right. You pay and I'll send Briggs his armor. But this is a one-time deal. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. I'll send the armor to Madame Savage's. Have a nice day. Don't even bother with that other place. Now, James? I don't... Could possibly want. I don't like them. Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I've been telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. <laughs> you better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons cash, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Briggs ain't the only one thinking round here. Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. The disciples are gonna pay for all they've done. I hope you aren't here to cause any trouble.
<laughs> we got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. Yeah, and that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Yeah, same here. Little element of surprise and a few bullets. And then no worries. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie. Taking it is going to be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Go in guns blazing? We hold back? You'll be drawing a lot of heat, but if you think you can handle it, works for me. You heard the plan. Let's do it. Playtime is over. Downstairs, now! You think Neon Security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence. A bit of murder. Word is, all of this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? As I can see. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the Disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue, and starts wearing Neon Security Black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. Setting Street Rat against Street Rat is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a... a cop. Shit! We could get a real pad. Maybe even move out of Epside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon security, seriously, will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? We've been struggling just to feed ourselves. Having a salary again. Hard to believe. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, know we'll be forever grateful. With resources and backup, the streets are gonna be safer. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut.
Manaya Adams was looking for someone discreet for a job. Apparently, I don't qualify. Don't go causing trouble. Fully stocked and ready to sell. Feel like making a purchase today? I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Tell everyone you know about our store. I want you to get up. Set. But Administrator Bay, you came by while you were out. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Stop by again soon. You could possibly... You see any heat leeches? You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? No. Hello there! Let me know if you need anything. Break. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, like you don't idea. need it. Great. I'll bring the blend, you bring the chunks. It's a date. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Shh. 
sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Easy for him to say, he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexler, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. Well, maybe she was wrong. I try to be a good man, but in Neon, good men starve. And why is that? It starts and ends with Bayou, and Dexler works for him. True, if all of us work together, maybe we have some leverage. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to neon security on an empty stomach. It'll be nice to get away from the... Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was... talk to him? Meanwhile, I was so damn stubborn, I made this whole thing harder than it had to be. Given you almost went blind, working with half a kilo of fish cuts in your eye. Yeah, I'd agree. And I'd still be wandering around that storage vat helpless, if not for you. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun, James. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison, and it needs to be taken off the streets. James, please, it's not just the Aurora. It's Administrator Bayou. As long as he's in charge, the city will just get worse and worse. 